Okay, so here comes the test. To test the idea, I got some Russian Standard, new bottle, and some uh, McDonald's napkins. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Try to get this bug juice off. Look right here, look at this piece. That's a fat one, man. He had a Big Mac. All right. Holy shit, it worked. It well, worked. I was wrong. I'm a fucking genius. <laughs> I was completely wrong. I had no faith. I'm a genius. I'm gonna get that spot in front of my window. One time. The first time ever. See, everyone thinks we drink a lot. We actually just use it to, for our road trips. Yeah, it did. It's it for you guys. Vodka. Paint your windshield. And it makes you feel good at night. I get to show you a little bit about a new experience in my life. Uh, I just became a fashion designer for one of the biggest fashion labels in the world. They have 37 different brands. They're a very premium brand from New York. Um, they have Paco Rabanne, Pepe Jeans, Marc by Marc Jacobs, and they kind of got me on board as a designer and as an art director for the new label uh, called Antique Rivet. So you get a chance to see um, Fashion Week. And <laughs> yeah, Antique Rivet. <laughs> Thanks, man. It's okay. I'm just, you know, I'm just talking. It's cool. Oh yeah, hey. Yeah, just okay. Yeah, antique Rivette, there you go. And um, yeah. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> what bread and butter is? Is this one of the biggest um, um, fashion messes in the world? It's uh, every designer comes there with their boots, and it's a chance for us to meet the buyers and people who want to buy our brands. They get a chance to see the new products and the stuff that's up and coming. Very cool experience. So uh, check it out. So here we are, at bread and butter. Oh. It's the first day, kind of tired. I haven't slept that much. And uh, we and uh, we are going to uh, go soon to the studio, see if my voice is working. My voice hasn't been working too good. I'm supposed to be recording, but I'm not. Um, been a long day. Been successful for a day. Let's see what week. happens. Yep. Really long week. And tomorrow we have a party at Adagio. Planned last minute. We're trying to do a catwalk, performing as DJs. Hopefully it's all works. <laughs> Guess we'll see you tomorrow. And another long day of shooting with RTI. Yep. All right. Good stuff. So the girls from our booth are having a battle with the girls next door. It's pretty funny. But our girls are pretty good. All right, here we are, bread and butter. Mark's getting interviewed over the antique group vet booth, and uh, I'll show you a piece of it. It's a sneak peek. Tarani to me is the owner of the big uh, fashion label who's kind of acquired me to do um, fashion design with them and make fashion the, the middle of point in my life for everything I'm doing from music to horror nights um, to everything else and to bring all those different um, things around the world. I mean fashion, his fashion brand is everywhere in the world so he's the guy who can make it happen everywhere. He's a really good friend also and uh, he's got a heart of gold. He's a very impressive business person. I'm learning so much from him. And uh, I'm glad he came into my life. The fun starts now. Yeah? <laughs> There's no way that's happening right now. This is happening right now. He looks like the guy from the WWF. He kind of looks like Brad Pitt from uh, from uh, Snatch, also. <laughs> yep, that just happened.
And of course, part of that, uh, we had to make a fashion show last minute at uh, Fashion Week, which is a little crazy. Um, we kind of casted the models an hour before the fashion show. We had one, one run through of the fashion show. We'll just show you a little bit behind the scenes, a little bit of the making of. A little difficult that day. And you playing guitar too. Yeah, I play guitar. That's right. I played your guitar. Really so uh, yeah, it's a little, little difficult. But uh, of course, you need a fashion show at Fashion Week. But we decided to take to the extreme and do a last minute with no preparation at all. Terenzi and, style. Terenzi style <laughs> and to do it on TV for RTL. So yeah. <laughs> maybe you saw the... Uh, the thing that was on TV, but here's a, a flashback behind the scenes. Is this on, Juice? Yeah. Uh, not really. Okay, I'll just tie it. Do you want to hear this? She was more like a beauty queen from a movie scene. I said, don't mind, but what do you mean? I am the one who will dance on the floor. Yeah, so we got through that uh, 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 runway catwalk. It turned out to be really amazing. Important people were there. Then we had to rush right away the next day, early in the morning, um, out to Munich from Berlin. We had to go out to Munich and uh, <laughs> um, jump on a red carpet real quick. We then uh, we played another show, which was awesome for a great charity in Munich, and we had a great time. Met some wonderful people, yeah. and then uh, yeah, DJ performing, then jumping back in the car, going back to Berlin, <laughs> and um, yeah, meeting One Eon and, and recording again. One Eon's in the house. What's up, brother? Um, and now actually he's going to be performing with us live at Horror Nights on the Ice Show, um, which is really cool to see us all together on the ice and uh, performing together and stuff. It's going to be a crazy time. The bad clown is back. That's man. right. And you guys get to see him live with yeah. us, which is really cool. Leon rocks. You rock. Romance, horror lands as we dance under a black sun in a trance carnage. We have the studio recording for our Transit Night soundtrack with 1E on my friend. What's up? I'm excited. I think good things are coming together. Definitely. And like always, Benny always has one last good idea when I think I'm done. <laughs> I want to be you. I want to be you. What's your idea, Benny? Cook Mazziani. <laughs> <laughs> Cook my What's your idea? What I do? No, what's your idea? My idea is to do a second voice. Another second voice, because we don't have enough. <laughs> That's an amazing idea. <laughs> he just invented that, to do a second voice. <laughs> Music history in the making, right here. Music history, a second voice. I would have ne never... <laughs> I would have never thought of that. Never in my whole life. <laughs> been locked in this room for days. <laughs> because then it's, it's it's close to the mm -hmm. to the music. Yeah, that sounds like good. Yeah. How's it going? How's it going, Benny? Pretty good. After two weeks, we finished three songs. <laughs> <laughs> It's no, perfect. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, this is my last day in the studio with one Eon. I'm drinking the blood of virgins. Right yep. Here. It's a blood of virgins right there. <laughs> Called Walter Schaller. <laughs> <laughs> and we drink to the song that we did for you guys, all the Horror Nights fans. We hope that you guys like it. And of course, I will see you at Horror Nights. So enjoy. Jason and his great decisions on the next blood. What are the questions? <laughs> Die va vampire zombies und sind big dear THN immer sehr aufwendig geschmeckt. What is it? Does the, does the Let me zombies see. always taste good? Let me translate it. The zombies always taste good? Geschmeckt. Which one? Where do you see that? Die sehr zombies. Ah. Oh. The vampires and zombies sind by their Terenzi Hornets immer sehr aufwendig geschminkt.
Are they always tasting good? No. Nope. Okay, so the first question is, have I ever had to throw away one of my ideas for Terenzi Highlights? And the uh, answer is yes, multiple times. But one of them was uh, for the house that is now possession. Originally, I thought it'd be a very cool idea to um, have the house as the underworld. We enter in and you get to hang out with all the vampires. They're in different bars and clubs and rock music and it'd be really, really cool and just a lot of fun. I had this idea, sent it to Mark and we had a, we had a good time talking about it, but um, obviously uh, it being Terenzi Horror Nights, he had to come up with his own idea. Anyway, um, yeah, it got changed to possession, so it's a little different now, and uh, yeah, I guess, you know, that's just the way it is to work here, but no, it, uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It actually worked out really cool. We throw around ideas all the time, and you can't be married to me. You have to be able to adjust things and just have a great time with the event because it's, it's all about fun, you know? First question comes from my fan club. Um, why is the show this year called Horror Night Star and Mark Terenzi and not Terenzi Horror Nights? Um, the first idea, the reason why, was because a lot of people had no idea that I was here in the show. People uh, thought that I was just the name giver. Um, even though I created and designed it, I'm also in the show. We wanted people to really know that, that I was starring in the uh, ice show and in the Vampires Club, DJing with Nick Rivers and with Jason, really here all the time. Um, and the second reason why is because of the hu huge success of this event and how great it's done in five years. Um, it makes sense for us to make it even bigger and move it around a bit. It will always be in Europa Park, but maybe in other times of the year to move it around the world. Um, right now we have plans to open a show in Switzerland, um, to open one in Berlin, um, and then later to move on to China and to America. And it's all because of the great fans who came and supported this idea and showed us that it is awesome and because we won so many awards. And so now we plan on doing much bigger things for it in the future. All right, thanks for watching. I'm Mark. I'm Jason. And we'll see you on the next video blog, the Terenzi TV blog edition. All right, thanks for watching. I'm Mark. I'm Mercurio. Oh, <laughs> Jason. Mercur you know what I mean. That's awesome. <coughs> Alright. <laughs> Thanks for watching, I'm Mark. Two plus two is chicken. <laughs> Alright. Thanks for watching, I'm Mark. Jason. And we'll see you. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Thanks for watching, I'm Mark. I'm Jason. <laughs> None of this true story. Ninjas. Ninjas. <laughs> Hell yeah. Bad clown is back as I walk through the chalet of the battle of death. I take a cut. Cut. <laughs> Gia. Now he said that's it. Why, that's why. That's the. He said it deeper. He. Ah, see, right. Like, like. See, he wasn't. What's in a, in the Nirvana? He wasn't. What's in a, in the Nirvana? How do I say? He wasn't in a boy ooh, band. Ooh. A boy band. He sings like ooh, more. Ooh. You know. So what? I know how. To, ooh. Can you do that? Can you? Ooh, ooh. Stick to the notes. Ooh, ooh. Stick to the notes. Gia! He says, Gia! <laughs> Can you sing the girl part? Gia! Clown? Can't you see me? Can't you feel me? I'm a freak, got a hell on your enemy! That was actually me singing it. Actually. Really? Is it pitched? Benny must have pitched it up. That's why he looks so aggravated in those shots. I feel for you, brother. I didn't see your credit on so that name. It said 10,000 pounds of lead. I because know. I am you. I am everything you ever was afraid of. Wanyan, please, please make it <laughs> to the ice show. And, I'm such a um, good rapper. If you I get this before the Terenzi High Night starts, please make it. I, I will it. drive you personally. There are some hidden talents. Some hidden talents. Oh, he's, he's good, man. He's got it. You know. I got it. It's new shit. He brings all the elements together. He's the godfather. Tony Montana. <laughs> Godfather's not Tony Montana, but it's the same guy. Almost. No, it's I mean not. Tony Montana's like. Actually, no, because if you think about it, Tony Montana. Megan Fox played Tony Montana. Maybe?